All right, first up on New to the Street today, people and their pets. We've been living together since time began, and that's a very long time. Now, what you choose to live with and call your pet, that's your issue. Taking care of that pet that happens to be a dog or a horse is the mission of Pet Vivo Holdings. John Lai is the company's president and chairman. John, welcome to New to the Street. Thank you, Ken. It's a real pleasure to be on your show. It's our pleasure having you. So for people just tuning in for the first time and who are not familiar with Pet Vivo Holdings, how did you guys come to fruition? What's the story of Pet Vivo? The company's been around for over 20 years, and most of the research that was done was for the government, the Department of Defense and IH, and it was treatment in the humans, but we recognized that if we took it to the animal side, we could really help the quality of life of their animals and the owners. Pet Vivo Holdings is strategically positioned in that vital space of pet care and veterinary care. You guys have unique Cush Canine and Equine technology. Explain to me about Cush Canine and how it works. Sure. Our approach to the problem was quite different than everyone else. Everybody looking at the treatment of osteoarthritis was trying to create a better pill. They were treating the symptoms. Uh, that the symptoms have less side effects on gastrointestinal tract damage, kidney damage. We looked at it and said, what is causing the problem? It's bone-on-bone -bone contact. So our Cush product is basically protein particles that we're able to compress and inject into the joint area and create cushion and lubrication. So basically, it mimics cartilage. How did you come up with the name Cush? That's the, how the product works, actually. Because when, uh, what our cartilage does is when there's impact, it cushions it. Well, our product basically acts like a sponge. It cushions it and then it returns it to its spot. So you take all the pressure off the two joints of bone on bone. What has the reaction been from the FDA and other govern governing bodies when it comes to this type of... PETA is going to love us because we actually did more work on humans before we started using this product on dogs. We injected 150 humans for dermophil. Because of the level of work we have done on the human side, we cleared through the FDA side for the veterinary side. <laughs> what has the reaction been from the vet community? Because we did a very limited launch into key vets in certain areas that were considered kind of leaders in the community. The success has been tremendous. I mean, the efficacy is like night and day. We could take a dog that could barely run up the stairs um, and inject it, and within 48 hours, that dog will be running up, up and down the stairs. It, it, it's noticeably different. And on the open, I said you guys also deal with horses as well. We had some equine vets decide to inject racehorses at tracks that they were ready to be put down. These horses not only returned to racing, but their times were better than they had in recent times, you know, in recent record in the last two years. Not just racehorses, it goes to just regular horses because the injections are not expensive at all. Why do you think Cush technology is such a disruptive influence within the industry? We, our patents, we have 22 patents worldwide and continually expand. Uh, what our scientist, Dr. David Masters, was able to do was to compress these particles and be able to reshape it and transform it into a thermoplastic that can be used in multiple applications. So the patents really add significant value to Pet Vivo Holdings. On an annual basis, we're cited over 300 and some times, I think 328 last year, of other companies filing patents saying that our existing patent is in conflict with theirs. So, so we believe there's tremendous value in our IP portfolio. What does that mean for revenue stream when it comes to you guys? We feel each one of the products in our pipeline, which there are 17 over the next five years, is addressing a billion dollar plus market with a disruptive technology that we feel can establish better efficacy as well as better safety from a toxicity standpoint. How do you anticipate Cush to impact the osteoarthritis industry as you guys move ahead? As we look at how disruptive this technology is, we made certain assumptions of market share. And if you're just looking at the canine side, uh, probably within five years, you're looking at a market hitting close to $4 billion. So what products do you guys have in the pipeline near term and what are you guys looking to do beyond? But the first five products are ready and no longer require any FDA work. Uh, those five products will be launched in the first 24 months. Uh, a lot of variables can alter the human side. We don't expect to get into the human side for 24 months. Are there any competitors in the space? Well, there are competitors, but nobody's taking the approach we have in addressing 
the problem versus the symptom. What would you say to people and want people to know about yourself and about Pet Vivo Holdings if they're thinking about parking their money? We're commercial ready. That's the biggest variable one needs to look at if they're looking at any company to invest in. Um, and you look at the comparable values of us and our competitors. Uh, if you look at the peer group, we're probably at a 65% discount to the market, yet we feel we're much further along because they have FDA risks. Last question, what do you get out of Pet Vivo Holdings personally? Well, I became the president chairman three years ago, and it's a 20-year-old company. And when I looked at this company, it was quite unique from everyone else. It had the deepest IP portfolio, product pipeline portfolio, and the FDA risk was minimized. And I also am a dog lover and an animal lover in general. Um, and I saw what it was doing for dogs initially and then later on for horses, and it's a real good feeling. John Lai, President and Chairman of Pet Vivo Holdings, thank you so much for coming in and sharing Pet Vivo's story. Please keep us up to date with what's next. It'll be my pleasure, and I definitely look forward to seeing you again. It's our pleasure. If you want to learn more about Pet Vivo Holdings, you can visit PetVivo.com or NewToTheStreet.com. Up next, what does money, mobile, and 1.4 billion people in India have in common? Opportunity. Money on Mobile joins me next on New to the Street.